Hello, once again. So I am doing my walkabout again and uh, this is one of the features for the day. This location is known as Smelly Alley and as you can see, <laughs> well you can't smell it anyway but uh, I can't smell it either. But the reason why it um, is given that name is because there's a fishmonger's down the road and uh, they sell fish and uh, obviously you know whenever the water is tipped out it decays <laughs> bringing about that smell so one um, prominent thing about this place is that once you get into the alley you smell that um, pungent fishy smell so I guess that's the reason why um, that name came about but anyway it's a small alley where um, most of the things here are businesses run by um, techies who unlock phones, sell SIM cards, repair computers and uh, you know just general stuff like that. So we've almost come to the end of um, Smelly Alley and uh, I just thought I should bring that feature to you today and uh, I'll continue on my little journey. So let me give you another view from this end. So there it is. Smelly Alley. And on to the next segment. So hello once again. It's from one alley to another alley. This is another alley leading out to another part of um, town. And as you can see, it's fairly deserted. Not much going on yet, apart from uh, delivery vans that are, you know, delivering merchandise for the day. So, actually it is a mixture of um, residential flats as well as businesses. And uh, it's not much going on at the moment, but I just want you to see it too, <laughs> through my lenses. And uh, if you can remember, I did say that there's a lot of... Um, construction renovation going on that's another one right there these days no matter where you go in England you're bound to see someplace being renovated and reconstructed restructured so it's part of um, the development process yeah so we're almost at the end of this alleyway and uh, we'll be getting to another part of town which is an open space but I just felt like I'm sharing you know this with you and I'll give you a view from this end that we are so you can see what it's like so that's the flight of the taxi cabs over there and this is a view from here there it is quiet business will be picking up soon and uh, on to the next alleyway or on to the next segment and I'll see you. So hello everyone this is the adventure of my uh, trip around town on the London and around trains they're kind of frustrating because they kind of you know interweave amongst each other and some of them are such that if you're not careful you find yourself going the other way on the tracks so it's good to be mindful of where one is going also, keep an eye on the board, you know, just to know what train is what because sometimes they kind of swap trains. So, this is where we are right now um, at a um, place called Ellsport. Right there. And uh, I'm waiting for a district train with the green sign. So, hopefully, you should be here. I'll see you on the next train. So there goes the train. And then there's one of them heading out. So I'm waiting for another one coming. I'll see you soon. Hello. Thank you so much for keeping up with me. So after so much topsy turvy and uh, you know missing my way, I finally made it to Monument Station, which is um, my focal point of my journey today. So 
Okay, here's the underground station. And this area kind of looks like a touristy sort of area. So I'll just show you the environment so you can uh, see what it looks like. I think it's mainly corporate offices and a combination of a few businesses on this area. As you can see. And basically, this is uh, the bustling city of London. A mixture of tourists, workers, hustlers, <laughs> a mixed bag of everything really. But yeah. So here we are in the heart of London, between East Cheap Street and uh, what's that one called over there? Anyway, the main street here is East Cheap which is in East Central 3 and uh, that one is uh, this one that runs across is called Fish Street and uh, that's so funny to me because remember that recording that I did earlier on today about uh, Fishy Alley yeah it's at the beginning of the video leave your comment in the comment section below are you familiar with any area called Fishy or Fishy Alley? <laughs> And uh, one more thing I'd like you to see are the restrooms, you know, the public restrooms. So right now I would uh, take you towards um, the section where there are public restrooms so you can have a look at the restrooms around this area. They're quite fancy. So here's a view of this end from this end and I'll take you right to the restrooms and I'll be there anymore. So here are the fancy restrooms, rest not restaurants, right there. So there's one for gentlemen and then there's one for ladies and of course again another red bus the red buses are the bus line of London England and wherever you turn in central London it's bound to be a red bus there's another one right there it's a tourist Adjacent businesses running from the left to the right. And uh, yeah. And that's your pedestrian crossing uh, button, which you press, and then the green man shows, and then you go across. Now, here, you know, the drivers kind of you know, take pedestrians into consideration, unlike some places that I do know that have no. In the world so let me know what you think leave your comments in the comment section below and uh, I'll take a walk towards the um, actual focal part of this area which is the monument of uh, St. Pancras so be there see you in my next so hello and thank you for sticking with me. This is the actual place where I was heading. It's a place called the Monument and that's where the Monument Station takes its name after because this is a monument erected uh, for a matter called St. Magnus. So I'll take another shot of the uh, monument so you can have a clear picture of it. But it's come out of marble, I believe. And let me move a little bit closer so you can have a look at what it's all about. So it's called the monument. And if you read along, it has a reason why it was designed. And that's back here. I don't know if you can read 
like it's clearly, but uh, yeah. I think it was uh, built to commemorate the Great Fire of London, which took place in 1666. Mm -hmm. So, there you have it, and uh, it's such a pain kind of recording because you have to keep on going by. Yeah, yeah. Going by. I just have to be cheeky and stand in front of my monument and get it. But yeah, in case you need to read any information up on this monument, Here's the website right there. So yeah, this is exactly where I was heading to. Rana Kumkishma Mission. Carving. 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 is a major attraction because um, you know people from far and wide all over the world come here to have a look and take pictures and uh, and actually go in there um, I believe there's an observation deck somewhere around here I'll go look for it and uh, you can hear the chiming of bells right there I wonder what time it is right now but uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, a few minutes past 12. So what do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And as I did say, there goes another bus. Have you seen anything interesting besides the monument? If you like it, leave your comments in the comment section below. What do you think? Have you ever seen anything like it? And that's the underground station right there with that red sign. Well, the red circle with the sign that says underground on it. And this station right here is the monument station named rightfully after the monument right here and I'll take a walk around so we can see the monument from another angle I think it's lunch hour right now because there are lots of people up and about enjoying the one hour lunch break and usually in England, at the workplaces, the lunch hour is between 12 and 2. And that's the time when a lot of workers head out. So they'll have a beer or a glass of wine. And probably get back to the office. <laughs> Half drunk or tipsy and pain. Not that I'm saying it's common practice, so don't put me on that. But uh, yeah, I have worked in an office and I know what it's like, and uh, uh, you know, certain things don't change. Leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll go ahead in there and see if I can 
go upstairs and it's uh, you can have seen my next bit. So here's another view of the monument from this angle. And I'm really, really, you know, struggling a little bit to capture the full beauty of this monument. Um, the only way to capture the beauty is to see it in person. There's a gold um, crown carved at the very top of it. It's very, very beautiful. And then that's the entrance into it. And if you're going to come in here, it's going to cost you £4.50, pence, which is um, roughly, I'd say, $7. There's an arena right here in the middle where workers are here, you know, on their lunch hour. No, yeah, basically this is what it looks like. So the monument of London. Here in its full glory. So far I hope you're enjoying the recording. If you're enjoying the video, you get comments in the comment section below. And subscribe, like and share and tell your friends. And I'll bring you more videos like this. I promise. <laughs> yeah. These are some of the surrounding buildings flanking the monument. entrance into the monument um, to the actual monument you know I was going to say that main entrance into the monument station but it is the monument and this is where the monument station was named after so this is the entrance and I did clip um, the board indicating how much it costs to get in there you check that and uh, very soon I'll be going in there and I'll bring you coverage of what I allowed to shoot. Because once you go in here, you're not allowed to take certain things. So, yeah, that's an interesting So, come along with me. instruction allowing you access entry into the monument so come along with me and uh, let's go discover what's in there together 